Are you the prize? Or the pleaser in your relationships? How to instantly increase your value and become the prize for men you date? Hello my lovelies, my name is Anastasia and I am a relationship expert and a dating coach. The instant way to increase your value in your relationships with men. You have to put yourself in the position of evaluator, the buyer, versus seller, the pleaser. All relationships in the world are based on the principle of value exchange or I call it the balance of value. That is driven by basic human psychology. What is a value exchange? Value exchange is a transaction between two parties that results in each party receiving something of value, some kind of benefit. When you go to a dealership to buy a car, you exchange your hard-earned money for the value of the car. When you buy a knockoff on Amazon, you exchange your money for the low value of the knockoff. The value exchange should be equal. If someone asks you to pay $10,000 for one pound of salt, you will probably get really upset and will not pay that amount unless that salt becomes exceptionally rare you and won't be able to live without it. That very same principle exists in dating. Nature drives men to take what they can from a woman they meet, preferably without giving anything back, and then pursue the next woman. They don't have a need to fall in love and take any responsibility for getting intimate with you, they have a need for freedom to do what they want. We, as women, have a need to be loved and cared for, to have only one man. As we all know, men and women have different goals in dating. So how do you really make a man stop chasing others and fall in love with you and give you all his resources? It is obviously a process. And this process is based on you showing your high value to him. Not a valuable resource he can take, like your body, time, and money, but a valuable woman herself. Someone who will make him feel like he is the king of the world. When men love you, they really love the way they feel about themselves when they are next to you. I will make a video about how to be a high value woman on this channel. But for now, I will explain the quick way to show your value when you just meet men in the beginning of dating. When you go on a date with a guy, you need to reverse the power dynamic and start asking yourself, do I really like him? Rather than, what can I do to get him to like me? You need to keep asking yourself what can he do to win my favor? Do I really need him? Do I want him in my life? Is he really that fantastic? By definition, those evaluation questions instantly put you in the position of power. You become the person who needs to see a proof of value vs you are the one who is being evaluated. You become the buyer, and the man in front of you needs to work a bit harder to sell himself to you. The man in this case has to show you he is the one who can fulfill your needs. Furthermore, it makes no difference how successful or attractive the man is, how high his social standing is, or how desperate you feel right now that his involvement with you will feed your ego. You must put him in a position to be judged in light of your objectives and needs. You'll lose this hard game I refer to as the balance of value if you don't. The moment you ask yourself what can I do for him to love me, how can I show him I need him, how can I please him so he will remain with me, you put yourself in a powerless position. He will instantly understand he is your goal, that he is already enough for you without even doing anything at all, and he will use it against you. The man will take everything you offer, use it and walk out. And by that I mostly mean he will be taking your body. Believe me, he won't even say thank you. This is basic human nature, nothing more. He is not an abusive manipulator. He is just a human. Nothing matters to him until he truly knows and loves you. Not your kindness, warmth, or intelligence, not how driven and successful you are, how high is your moral standing, how deep is your soul or how rich your inner beauty is, not even your outer beauty. He's there to get some, and if you give it easily, he will take and move on. Possibly not straight away, it all depends on the level of your resources. Maybe you have an amazing body? He might hang around for a bit and continue to take your resources. As I said before, nature drives man to take, not give back, and they really love the variety. They don't have a need to take any responsibility for getting intimate with you and stick around. There are too many attractive women around with the same offerings you have. Your love, feelings, and care is not precious to him. The variety is. Up until he finds a woman of a high value who makes him stop from chasing the variety. The woman who makes him work hard to get her. Men will not move a finger if there is no need for it. They won't pursue you if you are already staying there thinking he is amazing. And you are just convenient to take. He will. And in case he decides for himself you are not worth the trouble of putting the effort to show you his high interest and effort, he will just walk away as well. But in this case, you won't lose anything. Letting him walk is better than trying to prove him your worth. 
as it will leave you just empty and feeling used. And if you still want that man to chase you after he walks out, you have to increase your value as a woman. Not to chase him and please him, but work on yourself. And he will be back to get it. We all love valuable things. We want to have them. And if he doesn't come back, then many other men will be chasing you, probably better ones. Even if he marries you, if you are in the position of the pleaser, he won't respect you and it would not be a happy marriage for you. You have to be the prize, the buyer, the evaluator in your relationships. Use your logic and not your emotions, especially in the beginning, before the man says he can't live without you and is ready to give you the world. And in order to stay emotionally cool for us ladies, start with postponing getting intimate with the men you date. As this is the first thing that makes out emotions spin out of control without any logical explanation. Unfortunately we will be driven by our hormones. Good luck fighting them. Start asking yourself the correct questions. Make great choices. Above all, never try to chase or please a man unless he has given you the world. I will put the links below on how to become a high value woman no ex-boyfriend will be able to walk away from. And also video 10 mistakes women make in relationships to lower their value, the actions that would lead to breakups. Believe me, there is an easy to understand logic in the dating process. It might take a few months or maybe even a few years, but they always come back. And if not, there are 3 billion men in the world, you are destined to find yours. If you have any questions regarding your dating story, you can put them in the comments section below and I will try to answer them as much as I can. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would really appreciate it if you like this video and put a comment below to help me grow my channel. Thank you for watching.